CVO3 and I am back with another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing my curly hair routine plus I am going to be trying out this Indian healing clay mask on my hair. So I've seen a bunch of YouTubers do this. Aaliyah, I saw you do this girl. Loved it. So I wanted to try it out for myself. I have tried this on my skin and it was good. Now I want to try it on my hair. Hopefully this brings back that curl definition and changes this roadkill on my head to something decent. This is not my normal wash day. My hair was supposed to be washed like three days ago, but it wasn't. <laughs> so that's one reason I really want to do the mask because it has been a while since I've thoroughly really washed my hair and done a mask on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. Yeah, I really don't know what died up here. <laughs> Let's just say your girl has been busy. Just a tad bit embarrassing. You're about to see. Ooh, girl. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Can't even see it, but that's bad. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm gonna run you through um, everything that I'm about to do, and then we're gonna start doing it, okay? Okay. So All right, you guys. So here is the checklist. Number one, do this mask. Number two, wash my hair thoroughly. And number three, style my hair and blow dry. So you see the checklist, and now we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get some raw apple cider to mix in with this Aztec clay mask right here. <laughs> I opened it, now it's just everywhere. So let's cook up this mask. I read that you're not supposed to use metal, anything, so I have wood and plastic. So don't judge my, my wooden spoon. I got spanked with this spoon one time, fun fact. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Anyways, this mask claims to detoxify your scalp and your hair, hydrate and moisturize your hair, defrizz, you guys can see the frizz, and add shine. So that's what I'm hoping to get out of this mask today. I'm going to add four tablespoons of Aztec clay mask and equal parts of apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead and do that now. Also, it says that you are supposed to apply this mask while your hair is completely dry. Otherwise, the mask will never dry. It's just gonna stay wet, which is terrible. Oh my gosh, this clay is so soft. Like, I just touched it. It's so soft. Four tablespoons of that and equal parts apple cider vinegar. Ew, apple cider vinegar is gross. That was disgusting, my nose tingled. Do you guys hear this? I hope it doesn't fall out. I don't know if you guys can see, but I hope you can hear that. I'm gonna get this. So you're supposed to stir this together until it's kind of like a yogurt paste kind of consistency. Um, first of all, this smells bad. So I clearly need a little more apple cider vinegar because it's not enough. But I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit more so we can get that yogurt. I need it to be like yogurt. Ooh, ew. I don't want this to fall out. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to come together. Ew, this is so gross. It smells bad. <laughs> it doesn't smell good, you guys. We're gonna scoop all this together though. That's kind of what it looks like all mixed together. All right, you guys, we have our yogurt. What if I ate this? I bet you it's edible. Okay, I have to section it and then apply the mask from root to tip. So that's, first of all, that's a lot of mask. I might need more. If so, did that? If so, it's not too hard to make anymore. So I plan to section it kind of in fours, but not evenly in fours, just kind of, kind of in fours. So we're gonna go ahead. You guys can tell that Hair needs to be washed. Okay, here's my first section. And I'm gonna go ahead and section this too. So we can start small. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Okay. We'll start with this. Um, wow. Here we go. I'm about to just dump my hand here. 
That's gross. <laughs> okay, well. Ew. This is so crazy, you guys. Okay, roots to, oh. Uh, roots to tip, roots to tip. I don't, I don't, I don't even understand what I'm doing right now. This is disgusting. This is definitely a mask that you have to get dirty for. Um, so if you want, if you want that, if you want that no phrase and definition, girl, you're gonna have to get dirty a little bit. Ew. The only problem, like the only thing I, I have a problem with is that you have to apply this mask while your hair is completely dry, which is so crazy to me because like, I don't understand how it's gonna work if it's completely dry. Look at this. All right, you guys. I'm gonna speed this process up. My hair is stiff as a board, literally look. <laughs> Cute. But I'm gonna speed this process up for you guys so that you don't have to watch me struggle. All right, you guys. Um, This is just like making me so mad. I do not like this at all. Um, So I did read somewhere where it said to do it completely dry but this is so hard and stiff and I do not like any single part of this so I have a spray bottle here I'm gonna do the rest of my head with the spray bottle um, I'm not gonna make it too wet but this is just mm. <laughs> this is not it sis hopefully it makes my hair look good in the end but right now I'm telling you I'm struggling So you guys, this, I don't, <laughs> so the recipe did say not to put any water in it, but I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of this without any water, because it's not, I, I'm not able to really work it through, <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna push through, and this feels like a complete fail, but who knows, it might just be the start of something new. <laughs> Ooh, I just, mm. I had to make some more, by the way, you guys. That was not enough. I had to make about half a batch more of the clay. But I, I am like, it smells bad. But hopefully the end result will be great. All right, you guys, I, I'm feeling very uncomfortable. This is so tough, but I'm trying to twist this on top of my head. Cause you know, you have to wait for this thing to like, you gotta let it sit for about 30 minutes. Um, oh, it's on my ears, okay. I know there's a lot of pieces missing from my head, but honestly, you guys, my head hurts. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I wish I had a mirror to see what I look like. But anyways, my hair feels very, very heavy. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and like, just let this sit on top of my head in this little, this I don't know what this is for about 30 minutes and I'll be back with you guys I'm probably gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna wash my hair okay you guys I'm back it's been about 30 minutes I'm gonna talk to you guys about this mask before I jump in to the next thing that I'm gonna do let's talk so this mask I the recipe that I read said not to put any water in it not to put any moisture in it because it will not dry um, I so I didn't do it, but I regret not doing that because it made it very difficult for me to work the mask into my hair. But you know, if you don't try new things, you'll never know how to do it. <laughs> so now I know for next time that I should probably probably just dampen it, not too much water, but still dampen it. Um, so yeah, I got I got very aggravated and discouraged um, because this mask was not working right. So hopefully. Hopefully this will be okay. Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this bun down, this bomb bomb bun, and then I'm going to take it, take the mask out and wash my hair. But to put all that moisture back into my hair because it's all just been stripped away, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Intense Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Boab ba 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 Baobab oil. Baobab. Baobab? I don't know. But I'm gonna use this intensive hydrating hair mask. Looks like this. Hopefully you can see that without there being such a glare. So let's take this down. Oh, MG. Ah! This is what has been like 
just completely bothering me. Like, very discouraging because what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, <laughs> trying the Indian hair clay mask for the first time, gone wrong. Do you guys see this? <laughs> Hopefully the end results will be a lot better than this. Um, uh, yeah, this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I am going to head to the showers to take all this out of my hair and do this lovely mask. I'm also going to be washing my hair and doing my normal wash routine. Which includes <laughs> Diva Curl No Poo and Diva Curl One Condition. Um, I've talked in depth about these products in my actual dedicated curly hair routine video. You can go watch that video. I talk in depth about why I like these products and why they work best for me. But um, since I already had the video, I don't think I really need to talk about it that much. You can just go watch it. So I'm going to um, rinse all this out of my hair, wash it, mask it, and then we'll be back to style it. All right, you guys, I'm fresh out of the shower. I got that stuff washed out my hair and I already feel 100 times better. My hair, I can tell a difference. This is just straight out the shower, you guys. It has not, no product is in it right now. And you can see the curls are coming through. They are coming, they're there. So now I'm gonna take you guys through my routine. So after I wash my hair and get out the shower, I only use two products and that is Diva Curl Styling Cream and Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. So Normally, I don't work in very small sections. I just kind of put it in my hand, flip my head over, and just go through it. But for the sake of this video and curl definition, I'm going to take my time a little bit. So, um, I have a denim brush. I comb my hair out in the shower. I cannot comb it out outside of the shower. It has to be in the shower while there's conditioner in my hair. That just works best for me. But, let's get started before my hair dries. If my hair dries, it's just going to be a mess. So, we have the styling cream. We're going to put like a, sp a spritz and a half, well it's not really a spritz, a drop and a half of that in my hand and we're just going to go ahead and start off right here and working it through. You got to put it in your hair, do a little scrunch up so you guys know. Curly headed people know the, the deal and then I go in with the Denim brush again because the Denim brush kind of clumps the curls together and look at that, oh yes. Alright so we have that and now we're going to go in with the gel just gonna go section by section and I use a little bit because I go in very small sections so yes gel yes okay go like that perfect perfect all right moving on to this section I'm gonna do it again for you guys um, get a little bit of the styling cream put it in your section that you're doing comb it out or brush it out there we go Yes, yes, yes. And then to lock it in place, bam, gel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this throughout my whole entire head. You guys are gonna see the whole process working in very, very small increments on my hair so we can get the best uh, results. All right, you guys. Wow. Okay, so just looking at my curls, I can definitely, definitely see a difference as far as definition of curls. Sometimes when I get out of the shower, they're just completely straight pieces of hair on top of my head, and I kind of have to finger coil them, and there's literally none of that. Like, what? Like, I'm so surprised right now. All right, you guys. Wow, look at that. Now all that's left to do is blow dry. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try to show you guys the curls. All right, so uh, this is my attempt to show you guys what it looks like. I'm struggling because I'm so close to the wall back, back here. But I am really happy with the way it turned out. Well, it's not done, but so far I'm happy with it. Um, hopefully you guys can see that, I hope. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and blow dry. I blow dry weird, I, I flip my whole head over and I go like that, uh, that's not really weird. <laughs> but I'm gonna blow dry. Here is my blow dryer. This is a Diva Curl blow dryer. Um, this blow dryer comes with a hand that helps, and I usually go back and forth between the hand and this. But my name is LexiBO3, and I lose everything. So I don't know where the hand dryer is right now, but it is a great product, and you should definitely try it out. But for now, we're gonna go with this regular diffuser piece right here. Flip my head over. 
All right, let's blow dry. you guys so I'm back this is what it looks like so far um, this is about 65% dry I'm gonna blow dry it up to about 80% and then I'm gonna let it air dry the rest of the way so I'm going to be right back when I come back it'll be super dry all the way and um, we'll see what it looks like and I'll probably look a little more decent than I do right now because <laughs> I just got out the shower I look tough so anyways I'll see you in the next clip I'm back. All right, you guys, I am back. My hair is back. She's back. Yes, ma'am. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you guys have a good look at my hair. The curls are there. All right, you guys, my curls are super defined. Oh my gosh, it's like crazy. Like just look, it is like actually crazy. <laughs> my hair isn't in any kind of style right now. It's just kind of living its best life on top of my head. Um, I really don't know how to style my hair when it's out. That's why I prefer to put it in a bun because that's an actual style. But then when I see my curls doing stuff like this, it makes me want to style it, but I just, I really don't know how. Sometimes I'll put it to the side. There it is, you guys. I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. I did get a little discouraged in this video because that, that clay mask was putting me through it, like. And on top of that, my hair was already really bad, and really rough looking, and I hadn't washed it, but it's done now, and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. It's very, very curly, very defined. Um, yeah, my hair has never really had all that much volume. So this is normal for me. Might not be normal for some of you, but for me, not having a lot of volume is pretty normal. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit the post notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Peace.